Thank you for watching all these video clips or at least dipping into a couple of them. Hopefully you've learned something new or at least unlocked a little bit of knowledge around the facilitation superpower that you're aiming to use in one of your upcoming sessions. Something that I want to highlight here though is that I think you get the fact that it is all about removing stumbling blocks and also getting people to collaborate together more effectively. What is important though and something that people overlook sometimes facilitators is that you can use these feature sets even in smaller meetings and sessions. Don't leave them for the big workshops later on. The reason I'm saying that is one of the things that I want you to focus on is actually to get comfortable using these feature sets and use them on the fly. Because when you're running these big, more important sessions, you don't want to be thinking about functionality. You just want to focus on the collaboration. Now at Mural, we've really tried and I believe that these uh, features are really intuitive and easy to use, but you want to get comfortable. Then a second best practice element that I want to mention once again, because I've lived through this a couple of times, is remember to add that co-facilitator. Bring a buddy into your activities and your sessions. Gives you the confidence, but then also have someone to, to, to look after you as you go through this, because at the end of the day, we have to navigate a whole bunch of loose ends and technology as we go through these activities. And yeah, just go out there, use these superpowers and have fun. Then if you want to know anything more, drop into the comments, ask your questions. You can also find me, Van der Pucher, Senior Success Architect and Senior Success Manager at Mural on LinkedIn. And I invite you to connect with me there and ask any questions. Thanks for watching.